Monday, June 5th, and uh, we stayed in town. Our me and Kevin stayed in town. Chris went back to the trail, but it's just wet out there. So it was a good day to take the day off, rest up the knees, and uh, just hang out. So, at the Connell Lodge in Marion, eating a lot of Mexican food, trying to eat everything I can. I've lost about 15 pounds now, so there's not much left. But um, that's about it. Hopefully get back to the trail tomorrow. It's Tuesday, June 6th. Been hiking for a little bit. Coming out of Mount Rogers uh, Recreation Area. Just looking at this crazy fern area here. It's been like that for a while. <laughs> anyway, don't know that much interesting gonna happen today. Just trying to get some miles. We stopped at the barn restaurant in Atkins. And that's about it. Catch you later. You can hear this stuff humming for like a half a mile away. That's uh, Some big stuff there. It's Thursday, June seventh. There's a couple of deer there. If you can't see them, starting out a little late, about eight forty. Just going to be walking today. Had these little campsite. It's pretty big bubble with some other people around. This might be a little crowded today. Much else to see today, so here's some cows. It's Thursday, June 8th, about just after 8 in the morning. Been hiking for about 30 minutes. Finished the first climb of the day. There's a really big climb coming. Chestnut Knob, I think. That's going to be a biggie. About 2,000 feet. Um, climbing's a lot easier these days. The trail leg's going to come in. There a lot less uh, stops on the way up if any on some of these climbs so that's nice still don't really like it but uh it's a lot easier than it was a little chance of rain this afternoon 
not expecting much again today as far as major uh, points of interest other than climbing to the top of Chestnut Knob should be some good uh, should be some good views up there I think so I uh, camped at a place called Lick Creek maybe it's Lynn Creek Lynn Creek Lick is the next one um, nice place that well got a pretty early start so that was good and uh, just gonna move on Catch you later. So I'm, I'm about uh, two thirds of the way up Chestnut Knob on the ridge. A little pond up here with apparently some bullfrogs. There's a little spring right over there that's piped that's feeding the pond and it's a good place to get water. cool up here today. A little bit of a view starting. Just starting to get high enough to get some views out that way. So we're going to head on up. Still got some elevation to gain and a shelter. It's apparently an old fire tower converted to a shelter up here mile or so. So that should be interesting. Catch you later. Chestnut Knob and Chestnut Knob Shelter. Great view out there. That's southbound. That's the way I came up. I guess this is an old fire warden's uh, cabin that they've turned into a shelter. It says about 80, but I'm pretty sure it's not that warm up here. Bunch of bunks. I guess you can slide those windows open, I think he said. Right there. So it was full last night, but not overly. And that's northbound. Nice place. Stopping, having a little snack, and keep going. St. Luke's Hostel, basic hostel, kind of a working little farm. They let the neighbors graze their cows. And uh, got some pigs. Hey. Ah, sure. Banana peel. 
Got a feel to them? Yeah. All right. Hey, guys. Uh, okay. Piggies. What's up, fellas? Let me get you on camera here. You don't want to. Yeah, out here filming them. So I figured. Yeah. How about a banana peel? <laughs> oh, man. Got a lot of little guys down there. At this point, you're just better off dropping it. Drop it. There you go. There's one. Okay. A nice little place. Stay here tonight. Hit the road in the morning. Probably pick up some breakfast here. And then uh, hit the road and try to get the plan. We did get some rain here. I wasn't expecting that. So. Uh, we actually avoided avoided some uh, rain too, so that was pretty cool.